Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris. Today we're going to talk about Google Drive and what used to be called Google Drive File Stream. And what it is is basically Google Drive accessible through your Windows Explorer on your uh, PC. Now you could also do this on a Mac. It's a little bit different process. But ultimately the big thing is, is that you've got access to all of your Google Drive's cloud files uh, in, in one spot on your computer. So let's get started. We're going to go into our Start button down below. Click on the Windows icon there, and uh, I'm going to type in Google. And there I see Google Drive, all right? It's not Google Chrome, but Google Drive. I made a video on this about three years ago. It was called Google Drive File Stream, and thank goodness they changed the name of that. It was not probably the best name in the world. And uh, if you've never used it before, it's going to prompt you to sign in. And uh, so I'm going to click on Sign In with the Browser. So if I'm already signed into another uh, product like Chrome, uh, the Chrome Browser, it's going to have me do that. now. I'm going to bring this over to my screen here. It should say, hey, do you want to sign in as Chris Martin? You bet. It might be, uh, have me type in my password. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it should just walk me right through. But it uses your state K12 email address and then your password. All right, let's go ahead and uh, accept that. Success. I'm in. Now, a couple things I want to show you when I'm in here is that uh, in the lower right tray, the system tray they call this, you click on this little carrot, and I should see this Google Drive icon. And once I'm fully signed in, you should see this to where it's uh, it's grayed out right now, but it should be in like full color. Oh, there we go. So it's working now. So I'm going to click on a file explorer here, open up a file folder, window thingy. Uh, that's the technical term for it. Anyway, uh, as you can see, as I scroll up to the top here, I've got my drive letters and everything else, and I see my Google Drive. Now I'm in. I, I've got access to all of my Google Drive files. Uh, it, I also have access to my shared drive, so which is great. Now, if I want to get into the preferences for Google Drive, it's going to show up down in my, it's, it's running in the background. It's, again, I'm going to go to my system tray, and I click on Google Drive icon here, and click on the gearbox, or the gear, I click on preferences and when you go into the my computer aspect of this I'm going to click on the uh, the gear there once again and I'm going to get into see if someone else is editing a shared Microsoft Office file because you can save your Microsoft Office files in Google Drive and here's where you can designate the drive letter now by default it goes to G because it's Google hey uh, you can if there's other drive letters that you want to uh, give it that's fine now you can also go into upload file sizes. Um, if you're uploading any pictures, you can also do raw files. Um, if you're a big picture buff. And then uh, you can also make sure that you, this is launching when your computer starts up in the morning. Here's a local cache directory if you're saving anything local to your computer for uh, offline work. Uh, this is more for like if you're on a laptop. And then proxy settings. This is uh, stuff you should just auto detect. And then I wouldn't miss anything with this and prompt me to back up devices. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, make sure you reach out to me. As always, if you like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. And if you uh, also subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way when new content is pushed out, you will be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the day.